day zero, leading into day one tomorrow down the east coast. We've come hot off a debut win at Target High Country and hoping for a good result here. The Porsche does things so much differently to what we're used to in the Audi and uh, it, it's definitely a lot more fun to drive because it's, it's all about the back end and just putting power down on the back. We take for granted the fact we've got reliability on our sides, the car's under stressed and we've done nothing except fine tuning on the wheel alignment just to suit my personal preference but you sit around wondering what you're going to do because really brand new tyres and oil change and away we go from the last rally and that's a great thing to go into a rally, just this is the most relaxed I've ever been in a rally. Driving, I've got to say. We've got some good backing through uh, Porsche down in Melbourne. Uh, they've all been very supportive, and obviously, with 70 or 80 touring Porsches, uh, we've got an instant fan club, which is fantastic. The only thing we've done is put a couple of each exhaust just to make it sound nice. We just sort of want people to know what's coming. we could and I think it's put us in a pretty good position. What is it, two seconds ahead of Jason? Probably one of my favourite is Ross Arden. That was great fun. The downhill was great. We had a ball on that. We jumped out of the car, great grins on our face. Today, very bumpy stages and a lot of high speed bumps. You're pushing 240k an hour and uh, going over some, some big lumpy bumps and there's a bit of an unknown for us. We haven't done a lot of it but it was absolutely remarkable how well it handled it. So for, for a stock suspension it's just unbelievable. We thought when we first brought the car out we'd be changing it in time but um, I won't be changing it anytime soon. plan to go out fairly hard on the new stage. We, we tend to, um, I think we note pretty well, so I was, I was pretty keen to lay one down. Did well. We on that stage, I think, pulled back two or four seconds off Whitey, and then the next competitive was Helio, which we lost a lot of temperature out of our tyres initially, and sitting around for an hour waiting to go in. But look, he also knows that road pretty well, so I th we went down at ten seconds there. Mount Black, we threw everything out. I didn't have much more, and uh, we took a few of the tyres out of it. And half a second quicker than Whitey through this, so, which doesn't count for anything because like, once you do your rounding, we're on the second side. So. But, but like, it's a great battle, which is what you want. He's trying fairly hard as well, so uh, we just got to hang in there. And wait, hopefully, our opportunity comes. Started very cool coming out of uh, Strawn, which uh, with the hard tyres, 
always difficult getting getting some temperature into the tyres. We knew we were going to cop a bit of a hiding from Jason and Viper, but I think we lost about 11 seconds. Uh, bounced back pretty hard once we got some temperature in Queenstown and I think took six back off him, so we knew it was going to be on for young and old at the 50 or 60 k's of Arrowsmith. We started behind Jason and three k's in, uh, it was pretty clear he had a pretty big problem, so just the fact that we caught him told us a lot, but unfortunate and unlucky, but uh, we've pushed hard, he's pushed hard and, and this is this just what happens. Always like to beat people on the road, but he'll be back. We are disappointed because we had plenty of tyre and we were ready to rip it up, so it would have been great. It gets very hard to concentrate at times because I think we've got nine minutes to lead to the next GT2 car. We've just got to keep our concentration up and, and try not to pick up stupid things like punctures and just be armed up ready for that. So we'll be carrying a full tank of fuel and have our guys at the end of every stage with a spare tyre ready to go. Seems like a long 12 years, and 12 years in the making, I think, but just a bit of a relief to be honest to finally win one and hopefully not the last one. Okay, guys, up they go. That is your Still getting out of the last couple of hours, we just had the most stressful time in about 12 years, I think, because uh, we had a blowout on Pelverada and uh, which, who knows why, just going the straight line over the bumpy roads there and Ty decided to um, give us a bit of grief, so it was 40 or 50k an hour for, for the rest of the stage and then waiting for our service crew to come back in with a spare rim. But uh, yeah, we could have done without that. We've said all along that we, we do the hard yards early on in the stages and um, I guess in Targa in general that's applied the same way. We've, we've done our hard work early on in, in the event and that's paid off now. It's a lot of hard work. I mean, it's a lot of hard work when we get down here, but it's also a lot of preparation work I mean, on the car and the notes and everything else. So yeah, glad it's all paid off. It's a, it's a dream. It's a, it really is a dream come true. I'm just happy that I've got someone like Matt next to me to share it with. It's been fantastic. We're very proud to be the first team in quite a while to win in a Porsche and uh, you know the, obviously the new regulations are great for that back to standard cars how they're meant to be so we're massively proud to be able to do that for Porsche.